नमस्कार वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट द ट्वेल्व जोडिया साइंस एज पर मूवेबल साइंस फिक्स साइंस एंड ट्वेल्व साइंस इन प्रीवियस एस्ट्रोलॉजी एजुकेशनल वीडियोस इफ यू हैव नॉट बीन सीन इट यू कैन चेक आउट द प्लेलिस्ट ऑन माय चैनल कॉल्ड एस्ट्रोलॉजी लेसन्स in order to get results with the help of astrology one needs to know the nature of planets as well as the zodiac signs i will try to explain as simple as possible the form of each planet the true meaning of that form and its meaning in applied astrology any student of astrology must first to know the influence of zodiac signs nakshatra that means constellations and planets that is if we don't know what we understand from zodiac signs constellations and planets what are their qualities judgment analysis is not possible in applied astrology that's why i have discussed in detail about zodiac signs earlier and now i will discuss about planets in details then i will discuss about constellations in detail which is called significance in astrology before starting the discussion i want to say thank you very much to those of you who have subscribed to my channel and if you are new to my channel then subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon next to it to get updates of my every video and listen to the important discussions on astrology and spirituality the zodiac signs indicate material and material energy and the planets indicate the consciousness show the feeling of happiness and sadness of people is mainly determined by the planets therefore no distinction is made between zodiac signs as benefic or auspicious and malefic or inauspicious but the main divisions of planets are benefic or auspicious and malefic or inauspicious auspicious planets produce happiness and inauspicious planets give sorrow but apart from these auspiciousness or inauspiciousness the planets have other aspects each planet harbors one thing in one way from one direction and strikes a chord in our conscious feelings the totality of those collisions is the totality of human conscious life the zodiac signs indicate the surrounding conditions only as long as a planet is conjunct with them the surrounding events or conditions determined by them cannot become apparent in our life in the lifetime of a person many events are happening in different countries of the world how many joyous festivals how many wars how many happiness and wealth how many sorrows and poverty how many births how many deaths how many unions how many separations how many improvements how many declines how many joys and how many cries of grief who can count them but even then each of its occurrence is determined by the horoscope or zodiac a person's life will reflect in him only those events which will be determined by the position of the planets in his birth chart and all other events will remain outside his emotional life for this reason if there is no aspect or vision or placements of any planet then certain matters remain unexpressed in life for this reason if there is no aspect or vision or placement of any planet in any sign zodiac sign then certain matters 
remain unexpressed in life. This is why Maharshi Jaimini wrote in his rules during the direction of strength of zodiac signs that the signs with planets are stronger than the signs without planets. That is why signs with planets have been given priority over the signs without planets while clearing Trikon and Ekadipatta in Ashtak Burger. Therefore, if one cannot grasp the form of each planet, it is not possible to understand the meaning of astrological judgment. Here something needs to be said about zodiac signs, servitude, which is not mentioned in the three sign related videos. All the quadrupedal signs except Leo are submissive to binomial signs. Watery signs are as food for binomial signs. Reptiles or ohm signs and watery signs are submissive to binomial signs. And all the binomial signs, quadrupedal signs, except the reptile sign are submissive to the Leo. Here is what you need to know. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo and the first half of Sagittarius that is from 1 degree to 15 degrees are binomial signs. And first half of Capricorn that is from 1 degree to 15 degrees the last half of Sagittarius that is from 15 degrees to 30 degrees and Taurus, Aries, Leo are quadrupeds. The last half of Capricorn that is from 15 degrees to 30 degrees, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces are own signs. Aquatic signs include Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. And the last half of Capricorn from 15 degrees to 30 degrees. Now, let's talk about the natural auspiciousness and inauspiciousness of the planet. Sun, Mars, Saturn, Rahu and Ketu are malefic planets. From the 8th day of Krishna Paksha to the 7th day of Sukla Paksha. That means from the 8th day of new moon to the 7th day of full moon. Moon is natural malefic. And from the 8th day of Sukla Paksha to the 7th day of Krishna Paksha. That means from the 8th day of full moon to the 7th day of new moon. Moon is the usual auspicious planet. Besides, if Mercury is associated with a malefic planet, it is considered as a normal malefic planet and if it is associated with a benefic planet, it is considered as a normal auspicious planet. Jupiter and Venus are always auspicious planets. Now I will talk about the Shatra judgment of the planet. Sun, Moon and Jupiter have Shattika Guna. Mercury and Venus have Rajasika Guna. Rajasika qualities. Royal qualities. Saturn, Mars, Rahu and Ketu have Tamosik qualities. It is also necessary to know about the cast of the planets. Jupiter and Venus are Brahmins. Sun and Mars are Satriya. Moon and Mercury are Vaishya, Sunni, Shudra. Rahu and Ketu are Chandal. Now color of planet. Sun is of blood color, means fair planet. Moon, Venus, Jupiter are fair planets. Mars, lightning colors, that is slightly dark or coppery fair planet. Rahu and Saturn are black planets. Ketu is ash or smoky in color. Now male female division of the planets. Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Rahu and Ketu are male planets. Moon and Venus are female planets. Saturn and Mercury are important planets. 
according to some mercury is a female planet there is a contradiction in this case i think it is better to judge according to the nature of the planets of mercury will be associated with or affected by as mercury has no auspiciousness or inauspiciousness of its own but if mercury is not associated with any planet in the form of aspect or conjunction then it will be better treat it as an important planet sun moon mars mercury jupiter venus saturn rahu and ketu i will discuss all these planets in detail separately in separate videos i will try to explain based on my knowledge i have or the knowledge i have acquired in the next astrological educational video i will discuss about sun today's discussion is so far namaskar